Hey guys, it's Patrick from Alabama Burning. Uh, today I'm gonna do a tarpon. I'm gonna show you guys exactly, you know, what I do. Just give you the run of the mill rundown of, you know, how it's made. Um, I've got my spatula, my torches. I've got another tool I'll show you how, you know, I do the scale work on a tarpon. Um, if you have any questions, comment below. I'll try and answer everything. Um, like, follow, subscribe, and let's get started. Hey, so we're gonna get started on this tarpon. Uh, first things first, you gotta have your torch. You gotta have your lighter, because sometimes when they're cold, I don't really like to start. Uh, I've got my big torch, um, and I've got my spatula. Just add some gas to these machines. And be careful when you're adding butane into these things, because they, once they're full, they spray out, and you don't want to get that stuff in your eyes. Put that there. Use my big torch for burning the sides. Okay, now that you got the sides burned, we're gonna move on to doing more of the detailing. I start off mainly with the uh, you know the darker areas the shadow work and then I move on to the fins the finer details as I go but mainly I get the bulk of it done as I start so I'm going to take my big torch again since we have a you know a nice large piece and by the way this tarpon you know I'm excited to do this I love making tarpon because it's got a one-of-a-kind tool that I use with it and when you know springtime comes around down here in you know the gulf coast of alabama this is the time that the tarpons start to come around around the uh the shorelines and this is when we start catching them and this is you know tis the season so i'm excited to get on this and uh show you guys show you guys how it's done so let's start with the big torch light it up grab the spatula So that's kind of the bulk of that for now. We're gonna go in with the smaller torch, light it up. Get some finer details in here. You know, don't worry about your pencil marks. You can come back and erase most of those. And even if there are pencil marks in there, you know what? It's all part of the process. Once again, using that edge, kind of just shaping Taking the darker parts. Once 
can take the round edge, kind of just move it as you go. My arms get kind of awkward in these little different positions, but you get used to it after a while. And then you go to bed and you're like, why does my shoulder hurt? And you're like, oh yeah, I was, you know, making art with a spatula and fire. Cool thought. Mouth doing these finer details. And then just char that up a little bit so it's not so perfectly white. You know, I you know, failed to mention, you know, every spatula is different. Find one that really works for you because if it doesn't work for you, you're not gonna like doing what you're doing. And that's the whole reason we make ours, because we like it. And if you're trying to follow along and keep up, I've been doing this for a while, so don't get discouraged. Hit pause if you need to. I've gotten to the point where these, these used to take days to make. You know, planning it out, figuring out how my torch is gonna, you know, curve this way, curve that way, and now I've got it down to pretty much a, a hard science, and I can go really quick now, but it took a long time to get here. You know, I've been wood burning since 2014. As I always tell people, don't get discouraged. If you go back into my Instagram and my YouTube and everything, you can go back and see some real, uh, some real struggle in some of the artwork that I was making. But you know, I was proud of it at the time. Still proud of it, actually. It's all part of the process. We're all learning. Still learning. So now, let me tell you what I'm doing. I'm going into some fin work. I'm gonna start running lines and then run the lines the other way. Everybody kind of, you know, you can do your fins however you want. This is how I do them. I'm gonna show you. Take the outside edge and that good, strong black line. You gotta move kind of quick. You don't wanna catch the thing on fire and go, oh my God. My studio is on fire.
add a little shade to this top area. It's looking a little too clean. We gotta make it funky. Yeah, that's something really hard to do. Uh, I didn't learn it for a long time, but if you take the torch cone, because the fire is in a cone, if you take it, it's hollow on the inside of that flame. If you put it down really quick, you can create two lines of the cone. So now I'm gonna move on to the scale work. The scales of a tarpon are very different. Um, usually I use my spatula for some scales on some smaller scales, but the tarpon has big scales. Come up here, I'm gonna grab none other, ooh, my bad, than a bottle opener. So you can see where I've already been using it. It's all charred up. This thing gets really hot. When you're using it, after you use it, don't just set it down. It'll burn up your table like me. You gotta set it off to the side, let it cool. Don't touch it with your hand. Don't drop it, don't do anything. But who would have thought the beer opener or bottle opener laying around in the kitchen could create these scales? It took me a few years of making tarpon or not making tarpon. And the only reason I wasn't making tarpon was because I didn't have this little thing right here. I could not figure out how to make the scales of the tarpon. So the scales are going to run this way. So I'm going to have to flip the tarpon. Try not to hit anything. And I'm going to stagger it as I go. Everything's going to go in a stagger. It's going to stagger down, go, you know, cross face. Hopefully it looks pretty cool. If you guys have any questions, just leave a comment. If you want to get a bottle opener, go to Walmart get you one or Target or whatever you have. Probably find them at Dollar General or something. All right, let's do this first. Let's, let's torch it.
So, I got the scales laid out. Um, I'm gonna move on to add in the last of the shade and then I'm gonna come in with the pin detail work and shaded all right so now we're gonna move on oh, do not touch that set that over there because it's burning hot so now i'm gonna move on to my razor tip sk i've got another one of these coming in the mail i got their upgraded version the razor tip 80 something but it gets hotter it looks better. It's got a digital face on it, which I'm kind of skeptical about, but you know, razor tips done me good. I've had this for about six years now. So, you know, I started off with a cheap wood burner that you could buy at Michael's, you know, Walmart, anywhere you can think of, but um, it was just a, you know, simple soldering tool. This is made for art. This is detailed work. I make my own tip, which this one is almost shot. It adds fine detail. I'm just gonna go in, I'm just gonna do the eye. I don't really need to add anything else. I was able to do the rest with the torch and the spatula. So let's, uh, let's make it happen. This thing get hot. I got turned all the way up. There we go, now we're red. After that, I go in with the finishing touch, add a little highlight, grab my brush, grab my acrylic white titanium, a little circle there, and then just drag down. A little highlight in there. So that's it for the tarpon. Um, this video, I'm just showing you basically how to burn. Just uh, burning it showing a little different techniques. Um, this is what I used to do mainly, but the next video I'm gonna show you how to add a little color, add a little sparkle, and then I'm gonna uh, add some epoxy to it. And then I'll show you the finished product, but yeah. So thank you for watching Alabama Burning. My name's Patrick. If you have any questions, once again, comment below, like, subscribe. Please share this stuff. Um, a lot of people, if you're not an artist, you can do this at home. You know, this stuff is not, it's not rocket science. It's a lot of fun. Maybe somebody, maybe you can make somebody's day by showing them something new. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, tune in and uh, I'll see you in the next video.